Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have successfully seen about the store concept and how to use the store concept in the within the component we have seen it. Now it's time for us to learn about the state variable. So what is this state variable? So the state is the most of the time is this the central part of your store. So this is the central part of your store. People often start by defining the state that represents their app. In Pinia, the state is defined as a function. Okay, so let's comment out this composition API thing. First, we will see about the uh, options API format. Here, I will be using this one, options API. And later on, you will see about the composition API. Now, here we will be having a function which returns the initial state. So, this allows Pinia to work in both server side and also the client side. For example, let's say that this is our home store, right? So let's say we are having another variable. So these are the two state variables which we are having it. Now let's say <coughs> access to your store. So now let's say that for example, how we can access to your store. So if you are not using the composition API and you are using these, uh, these type of things means how we can access it. In the composition API, I have shown you use counter store and all those things we have did it right. Now if you are using the options API, how we can, how we can use it. I will show you. So here, now we are not using the composition API. Let's go to the export default. So we will be using this export default. And here, export default. Now in order to access the state. So here we need, what we need it? We need a count and also a double count, which is available here. Count and a double count and also name also we need it. Let's assume. Now here, we will be having this export default. And we will be writing here. And in this one, we will be writing in such a way that computed property. So we will need a computed property. So first of all, we need to get the state, the state data. So in Pinia, we have a method available map state. So this map state, so we will be using this map state. We get the data from particular store. So what is the particular store you want it? So use counter store. So this is the store which you want to get it. So here you will be able to see the counter store. This is the name. And we got the user counter state, counter store. And what are the state variables you want? First one is the count. That's it. Okay. And also, you can also do. So now I want a double count. So this is a getter method. So which is a getter method. Okay, fine. So you can also get the getter method using like this double count. That's it. Now we got the double count. So that's it. So we got the data. And now here, uh, what I can do is. Mm, so let's leave it there about the increment and all those things. So now if I try to refresh this page and here I will be able to get this data. Now if I want to increment, so if I click on this increment, I need to get this increment work it right. So what I need to do, so here we'll be having a methods and here I can have map actions. Okay. Map actions. So we need to map actions. What is the map actions we need to do from use counter store and here what we need to get. So we need to get the increment. That's it. Like this, we will be using. Now, if you see here, the output will work without any problem. Now, if I try to increment it, it is not working. What could be the reason it is not working? Let's see. Mm, this is the only way we will be writing it, right? So I hope that this is the only way we will be writing it. Let's see. This is the only way we will be writing it. Let's see. Let's go to the inspect element. And we will see what could be the error we are getting. We are not getting anything. Let's refresh this page. Yeah, I have refreshed this page. Okay, non prop attributes. If I click on the increment, we are getting some errors. Okay, we are able to get some errors. And at the final, we are getting maximum call stack reach. Okay, so this could be the issue. Let's go to the main.js from routing aspect. This could be the issue. Okay, we are sending the props, right? So it is telling that we are not receiving the props. Now, hopefully, this one will be rectified. I am thinking. Now, if I now this time we don't get any error. See, now it's working fine. So, because of that uh, props issue. So, this is how we will be accessing the methods in the store, which is defined in the options API. So, here so we need to use the map actions and we need to use the map state. So, like this, we will be using the uh, what I can say, like this, we will be using the state variables. Not only like this, for example, we can also access this one in a different way. For example, let's say that if you want to access it here, I can access like this and here I can say count. Okay. So this should be count. Okay. You can have your own name here. It's a counter. 
and count and here you can say double counter so the name you can you can define your own name so this should define to uh, double count okay and here we can have counter double counter now we need to instead of accessing this name we need to access with double counter and counter like this now if you see here if you go into this one and if you refresh this page this also works in the same way only here we are getting some error oh why we are getting this error let's see Mm. now it is working fine so my my system is little bit slow so fine so this is how we will be making it work now we can use it like this and we can also use in another scenario also so what is that one is so if you want to use it something like uh, double value or anything and you can have a state data and you can say that state dot sorry state dot count plus one something like this or otherwise you can also use uh, state dot double counter plus double count plus one also you can use it now if you try to see the output so here if i want to uh, if i want to print this double count here i will use this double value and here i can use this double value so which could be plus one double count plus one we'll try to use double count plus one oh, sorry now, if you access this one double count plus one and if i try to do it here increment if i try to increment this one see two three and every time this will be plus one so like this also you can use it as a function not only as an object you can use it as a function also so these are the different ways how we can try to do it now we are doing this increment right so now for example let's say that uh, what i want to do um, so we are having like this right so fine so we are having these all the things and we are able to do it now here let's say that we are having an add functionality now here i will try to remove this one or otherwise i will be having an add method now we can able to access this counter or otherwise i will remove this one all and here we will be having only the count and i'll say double count right so here we'll be having only a count and i'll say double count fine right so now we are having only these two things so count and i'll say double count now we will be using here count and also double count we will remove this counter thing also double value also i will remove it you can do this or otherwise we will try to maintain the uh, i can say so this one is the map state so i will comment out this one so that you can have it for a reference and here i can use map state so which we will be having the counter for use counter store and in this one we will be having only the count and also double count double count these are the two things which we will be having why is this one coming first yeah so these are the two things and here we will be having map state now here we will be we are having double count also here double count now here double value i will comment out oh finger come here this is the only thing i will come into now here ha here having a one add method so why, why i am trying to use this add method is hmm, i will show you one thing so now we have a writable property right so we uh, sorry we have a state properties a count and the double count if you try to print here console.log this dot count you can able to access it why because this is a computer property now if you are able to access it if i try to refresh this page so we will be able to refresh this page yeah and if i click on increment see we are able to access it it's a zero now what i will do is here i will try to update this value this dot count plus plus i will try to update this value then what will happen let's see so now if you try to update this value if you see here we are getting an error that write operation failed computer property is always read only then if i want to update this one what i need to do <clears throat> so we need to use instead of using this map state we need to use map writable state okay so we need to use this map writable state so when you use this map writable state now you can update this value so if you try to see here so we can able to update this value so this is how actually the thing works okay so this is the difference between a map state and the map writable state this is all why we are discussing so this is all these are all we are discussing when you are writing the pinia or the store when it is defined in an options api so these are the different ways which i am trying to explain you 
So when you want to access the state variables, you can access it using like this. When you want to update the values like this directly means, so how we have updated in the composition API, if you want to update it like that means, then we need to use it map writable states. So these are the different ways which in which we can access the state in the options API. Hope you understood about this one. What I will try to do is, and here I will try to uh, create a new, new video, new branch with video hyphen 70 and I will commit this all the code. So here state with the options API, state with options API and I will try and I will update it here. So whoever is interested, so they can go to my GitHub branch and that is GitHub link is provided in the description below. So you can get that GitHub link. And here you can go to my GitHub, so github.com slash new composition router. So if you open this one in this particular, so whatever the video you're trying to watch it, so you can go to that particular branch and you can get that uh, code which is associated with that video and you can see the code. Hope you understood about the state accessing in the options API. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.